Hello one and all, this is Hybrid Steel. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. Today, um, I, we're basically going to do another restoration project, but I've got to fill you in on what's been going on. Now, as you can see above me, I've got $900 million and I'm level 55 and everything else. And the reason why is because I'm now playing this on sandbox mode. Basically, I have had to buy a new PlayStation. Unfortunately, what has happened is that my cloud storage wasn't saving for the last year and a half because that was apparently full. Basically, just means I've lost all of my save data for this game. So, until I get to that level where I've, you know, I'm back up to like level 30 to level 38, which is where I was before, this is how I'm going to have to do these videos. I'm literally going to have to sit here and do it on sandbox mode until I'm at the right level. I've basically got to grind the game again, which is why you'll probably see a few more live streams about this game. The joys of not looking into why things aren't saving. Let that be a lesson to everyone. So, we're here in the scrapyard to find a brand new car to work on. So, we're just going to have a look around and see what's about. Now, there's nothing down here. So, this is how I would normally go about going through the scrapyard. I start off in this pile and I have a look around for maps and I have a look around for bits and pieces. Now, obviously, because I'm playing this on sandbox mode, I'm probably not going to find any barn finds, which is a joy, unless they're very just rare and sort of like nothing's there. Now, I know there's a car behind me, but I want to look around the scrapyard first. So, we're just going to have a mooch. So... Yes, I, I just thought I'd sort of, you know, bring you up to date of what's been going on and everything else. And that's the, the reason why I'm sort of doing this video now is because I've got to I've got to get back into doing everything again. So for my spare time, I'm going to be trying to bring in as many levels as I can within the game. And unfortunately, that's just a lot. It's just a lot of work that I really have to do again. That's that's the downside. That's all it is. OK, so there's no scrap here, but there is a car here and that's a flame uh, it's a flamo or a flame mode depending and it's the 6b version so this has got a hundred oh hello i don't think i've worked on the 6b i think I, i've worked on the standard flamo before but i think we'll uh so we've got a flamo or flamo depending on however you say it um i wonder if it's, it probably won't start probably not anyways yeah, it's knackered anyway. So we'll, we'll just keep having a look around. Anything over there? Not that I can see. Slim pickings in the junkyard today. Okay. Yeah, there's there's nothing there either. I mean, this is this is devastating. Oh, junk. Let's have a look. <gasps> ah, nothing. I will have to get around to doing a build like that at some point. So there's two in the garage. Okay, we're going to have a look. So, we have got ourselves a Chieftain Bandit, which is a nice enough car. It definitely won't run, but we can do a lot of engine modding on this one because of the size of the engine and the fact it's a V8. So that's not, And we have, yep, an Esprit S1. I mean, with this, we can put, we can put in a decent engine into it. We could put the supercharged engine. That would be amazing. Or the Hemi. I think that's the, that's the whole problem with like muscle cars. I mean, it's only worth ten grand. Cars worth. This is going to cost me fourteen. I think we will do it. We're going to buy this one. Let's go. <sighs> Okay, so we've just about made it back to the garage, all in one piece. I mean, the car itself is its missing a fair whack of stuff, let's put it that way. So yeah, like I said, I've i have literally had to... Um, I'm playing this on sandbox mode at the moment because uh, it's going to take two... It's going to take so long to get to like level 30 odd again. And I want to keep making videos and then, uh, yeah, it's just not going to happen whilst I'm, I'm not the right level. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to break down as we go. So we're going to take the headlight off. We're going to take the panels off. Take all the bits and pieces off. We're probably going to have to replace everything because it's a scrapyard car. And we could probably do a better job than um, anything else. So it's all good. Right, next is interior. So we're going to destroy the interior. I haven't got a steering wheel, so that's going to be fun. So we're just looking for bandit benches, bandit seat, and a steering wheel for the bandit. So... Um, tablet. 
One nap later. What we're going to do now is we're going to clean the car up before we do anything else. So if we're going to bring over the uh, welder, chuck that over in lift one. We are going to take the detailer and put that over there as well. And then we're going to detail the car. Okay, so we've detailed the car. Let's move that back over to where it came from. And now we're going to smarten the car up and make it all look pretty. Well, pretty-ish. I mean, it's, it's not going to be rusted. Let's put it that way. Okay, so use equipment. Boom. With that. Oh, and it's black as well. That's beautiful. Fantastic. I mean, that looks quite nice as well. So I think we might stick with the black. It looks good. I mean, obviously, it, it looks like a... Well, it looks crap. But... You know, in black, this is, I think this is going to look like a really nice car. So uh, let's assemble. Okay, so we'll put the front bumper on first. Which one should we have? Let's go with B. Let, let's go badass. Oh, I know what I, I didn't buy. I license plates again. It's badass. All right, so we've got quickly. Let's, um, let's buy some license plates, shall we? <laughs> Because I, I always forget to buy them. Like, every time I do body work. Yeah, I've got body work. It's fine. Oh, uh, we don't know this. is fine. Where's the license plates? Uh, yeah, we haven't got any license plates. And obviously because we're doing a sort of classic e car. Uh, da, 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 let's just go with the random whites. Okay, and we're done. Okay, so back on to uh, assemble. It's all good. Okay. Um, and we'll put a hood on for now. We'll we'll do hood B. This is it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Okay. Ooh. Screw it. We'll go with that one. I I think this is gonna look pretty sharp when it's done. Okay, so we'll put the window in. Side mirror. Going chrome. Going chrome. Front window in, rear window in, trunk, trunk. Get the oh, I've taken a foot to the head, uh, the rear light out. Let's take that one out. Let's go assemble mode, and we're going to put the darker ones in because these are beautiful, and that's just going to flow really well with the bodywork as well. It is all good. Okay, and the license plate on that side. Put the pan put the door back in. Put the window back in and put the side mirror. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. We put the wrong mirror in. And we'll put the chrome mirror in and we'll put the side panel in. So we went with the black one. Yeah, that's all good. So there we go. That's all the panels chucked back onto the car. Okay, so the last thing we've got to do now is we've got to put the interior in. Now, obviously, because we bought a brand new interior, it's all going to look a little bit nicer in here, which is it's all good in my book. Okay, so interior assemble. Let's get the seats in. There we go. One seat, two seat, rear seat, steering wheel. There we go. And and that, then that we're done. Um, yeah, I... I genuinely think that's going to be about done for that it's looking nice it's looking sweet and you've got to be honest i'm all good with that that's it's a nice looking like sleek body obviously we're going to do painting but that's more towards the last episode so in the next episode we are going to be putting the we're going to be redoing the wheels we're going to be doing all the undercarriage stuff and then we move into the engine for episode three so hopefully you guys will join me on episode two i want to say thank you very much for joining me this has been hybrid still and until my next video live stream or whatever else i do don't forget to hit the subscribe button i'll see you all a bit later peace out have fun and enjoy everything you guys do bye bye